Hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. How are you today? Are you ready? Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hi, teacher. All right, all right. I'm happy to hear that. I'm happy to hear that. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Guadalupe. Hello, Daniela. Hello, Gabriela. Hello, Miguel. Welcome, Dalila. Jose. Welcome, Laura. Welcome, Elena. Welcome, Alba. Welcome, Ovidio. Hello, Patricia. Thelma. Tamar. Hello, hello, Sabrina. Andrea. Claudia. Carlos. Welcome back. Are you ready? Yes. 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 Excellent. 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 Who can tell me what do you remember about yesterday's class? Who can tell me what vocabulary do you remember? Uh, what examples or sentences or anything like that? What do you remember? Somebody? Do you remember that we were looking at the prepositions? Yes, sir. They learn the preposition of place. Mm -hmm. For example, on, mm -hmm. on the corner of, across yes. from, and between. Very good. That is correct. Uh, can somebody give me an example using a preposition of location? Can somebody give me an example? Using um, on the corner of. What Decíamos, la Uno Gas Station is on the corner of Boulevard Los Héroes and Sisimil. Very good. Excellent. Can somebody give me an example with across from? Across from. Um, Metro Sur is across from of Metro Centro. <laughs> okay, correct. Metro Sur is across from Metro Centro. All right. Can somebody give me a sentence with the preposition of location on? On. Mister. Yes. Plaza Mundo is on Ejército Boulevard. Ma <laughs> okay. Yes. Yes. All right. Uh, I noticed that you guys understand the topic. Um, does anybody have any questions in regards to this topic? Eh, yes. Yeah. Eh, eh, perdone, solo como un dato adicional, este, una yeah. vez escuché una explicación que decía cuando alguien está dentro de un autobús o un tren o un subway o algo así, mm -hmm. eh, ahí es ahí donde se puede utilizar la expresión on. Correcto, Ajá. correcto. Porque usualmente sí. podríamos entender que está adentro, ¿verdad? Y decir in. Sí. Eh, Pero el... explicaban, explicaban diciendo que es donde sea el lugar donde usted puede desplazarse. Uh -huh. Y a eso es la explicación para que se use el, el on. Correcto. Eh, si, si decimos, por ejemplo, on the bus, ¿verdad? usted dice, voy en el bus. I am, I am on the bus. O si usted dice, eh, I am on the train. I am on the train. Uh, I am on the subway. Si vive en New York, tienen allí subways. Correcto. Okay. Eso es muy correcto. Sí. 
Thank cuando, you. Cuando va en movimiento, usted dice on. Hmm? Okay. Excellent. Um, digamos, si, digamos que está en una gasolinera. Usted le dice a su amigo, aquí estoy en la gasolinera. Ah, ok, aquí estoy afuera, pero no te veo. Ah, estoy en el baño, ya salgo. All right, usted va a decir, I am at the gas station in the rest Right, I am at the gas station. El at, como es como que el, el lugar en general. Y el in es específicamente a dónde está dentro de ese lugar. Eh, por ejemplo, usted dice, estoy en, en, estoy en Metro Centro, eh, en Simán. I am at okay. Metro in Simán. Right. Yes. Excellent. Thank you, teacher. Uh, see, very good. Thank you. Daniela. Tengo una pregunta. ¿Y si es un restaurante? ¿Sería at o sería in? Ah, ahí sería, digamos, si usted dice, eh, I am at Tony Romas. Romas. Y digamos que usted está... Eh, en el área de la terraza. I am at Tony Romas in the terrace. Mm -hmm. Así sería. O digamos que ustedes estoy en Tony Romas en el bar. I am at Tony Tony Romas I am at Tony Romas in the bar. Or oh, in a booth. I am at Tony Romas in a booth. O oh, digamos el área de los niños. I am at Tony Romas in the children area. Yes. Sí se puede. Y si quiero decir solo el restaurante, sí, si en general, sería solo at. Sería solo at. I am at Tony Romas. Ok. Estoy en, el, estoy en el cine. I am at the movies. Estoy en Wendy's. I am at Wendy's. O puede decir también, por ejemplo, eh, si usted dice en la iglesia, I am at church. Uh -huh. El at es como quien dice el local o, o en casa, I am at home. O en el parque, I am at the park. El at es como que para el local en general. Ok. Eh, esta es otra preposition of location que no está incluida allí, pero que sí se usa. El at y el in también se usan. No solamente es el on, el cross, from, between. También se usan el at y el in. Esto solo se los quería presentar para que también lo tengan como catálogo en su base de datos Cerebro. Teacher, y, y in no se puede utilizar a menos de que sea como secundario, digamos, o como principal. Eh, si quiere usarlo como para, digamos, si usted quiere decir estoy en mi cuarto. Uh, I am in my room. Ajá, uh -huh, I am in my room. Ahí no va a decir at my room. Ahí va a decir in my room, porque ya oh, está okay. dentro de su casa. Mm, y sería okay. I am at home. Está en su casa. Estoy en mi cuarto. I am in my room. O dice I am, estoy en el baño. I am 
in the restroom. Y digamos cuando nos referimos, digamos, I am in, in my work, o tiene que ser I am at work. Ajá, ahí sería I am at work in my office. Ok, thank you. Uh -huh. O si quiere decir, eh, eh, estoy en el trabajo en frente de la compu. I am at work in front of the computer. Correct. Good. Another question. Another question. Yes, Kevin. Teacher, este, una pregunta. Yes. Pero el, el in, entonces, se usa más que todo para algún lugar en específico, pero el on sería más que todo para cosas. ¿O cómo? Eh, sí, el on, sí, el in es como para el lugar específico. El on es para como si digamos que usted va en un bus, digamos que usted se está desplagando del trabajo a su casa y le llaman y usted dice, hey, te llamo al rato, voy en el bus. Usted dice, I am on the bus. Ahí se dice on the bus. ¿Por qué? Porque el bus se va moviendo o, o se está transportando de un lugar a otro. O digamos, usted dice, eh, si hay un tren, I am on the train. O digamos que usted va en, digamos que vive en New York. New York tiene subways que son como buses subterráneos. I am on the subway. All right. O digamos que usted va en un caballo. I am on the horse, right? Cualquier cosa que lo lleve que se va transportando, usted puede decir on. O también si usted dice, eh, el restaurante está sobre la constitución. The restaurant is on constitution. Boulevard. En ese caso también puede utilizar el on. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Ok. Y también lo puede usar como en el phrasal verb. Si usted dice enciende la luz. Turn on the light. Turn on the light. O usted quiere decir, hey, voy en camino. Puede decir, I am on my way. So, el on tiene muchos eh, usos. Estos son los más comunes. El on, cuando usted va dentro de un transporte. On, para decir en cuál calle. On, en el phrasal verb, turn on. Y on my way que es un phrasal, una noun phrase, que quiere decir en camino. Mm -hmm. Ok, another question? Another question? Somebody? No, teacher. No, teacher. Ok. No question. All right, all right. Uh, so now what I would like for us to do is we're going to go ahead and move forward and we're going to be looking at the next section. Now for the next section, it's going to be coming from section number 3.7, 3.7. We're going to look at this map and listen to this audio. Let's listen to the audio together and then we will check the activity. Page 89. Can everybody Exercise hear? Six. Can everybody Listening. hear? Can yes, you hear? Yes, 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 yes. In exercise five, listen to four conversations. 
Where are the people going? One. Hmm. I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue next to the supermarket. P&J supermarket? Yes. It's on 2nd Avenue between Main and Center. Okay. Thank you very much. Three. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street, next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and 2nd? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. Four. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on 2nd Avenue across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and 2nd Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's Coffee Shop. Okay, thanks. All right, who can give me the answer? I want you to read the question and give me the answer. Jose Antonio, let me have your example number one, please. Uh, what are they doing is the bank. What are they doing or where are they no. going? Where are they going? Very good. The bank, excellent. Tamar, number two, please. Where are they are they going? Yeah, the answer is Davis Drugstore. Davis Drugstore. Thank you. Gabriela, number three, please. Where are they going? Maria's restaurant. Ma Maria's Maria. restaurant. Excellent. Restaurant. Number four, Miguel. Number four. Yeah. Uh, 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 maybe Loft Department Store. Loft's Department Store. Okay. That's kind of weird, right? Loft's. I'm not sure. Be I I'm not sure because uh, this part was hard. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alba, Alba, what is your answer, Alba? Favorite shoes. Favorite shoes, okay. Correct. Excellent. All right. Uh, does anybody have any questions in regards to this information? Questions about the vocabulary or the prepositions? No? Okay. Uh, can somebody give me, or maybe give me a, a little description of things in your neighborhood? Uh, I will start. Voy a decir tres cosas que están aquí cerca de mi área, y de allí vamos a tomar turnos describiendo eh, nuestra colonia o nuestra vecindario o whatever you live. Um, I'm going to say, for example, ah, okay, Papa John's is across from, Papa John's is across from Domino's Pizza. Uh, Papa John's is next to El Zócalo. Uh, Buffalo Wings is on Boulevard Constitución. Um, ah, okay. Uh, Don Pollo is between Kung Fu and Los Taquerías, Los Tapatillos. 
All right, so we'll say in front of, next to, across from, y between. Cuatro. Eh, ¿Quién me puede dar un ejemplo así en su neighborhood? Un ejemplo así describiendo su neighborhood. Somebody? Anybody? Yo tengo dos. Okay. Eh, Plaza Mundo is across from, across from Walmart. Okay. Plaza Mundo is next to gas station. All right. Okay. Next to the gas station. Um, let's go ahead and let me have another volunteer, please. Somebody else can describe something in your neighborhood. A church. Hi, Daniel. I have an example. Okay, Miguel. Uh, I have an example. Um, the school, uh, Ecuador Republic School uh, is next to the Unidad Medica, Medic Unit. Mm -hmm. uh, is Seguro Social. Okay. All right. Good. Excellent. Thank you, Miguel. Yes, Daniela. Um, I have two examples. Mm -hmm. uh, Sin Rival Ice Cream is on Independence Avenue. Okay. And Pupuseria La Vente is across from the church. Okay. Okay, excellent, excellent. Eh, normalmente, guys, cuando decimos church, eh, no utilizamos el da. Hay cuatro, uh, tres lugares, cuatro lugares que no se usan el da. Eh, puede decir, por ejemplo, eh, usted dice, I go to church. Yo voy a la iglesia. I go to school. Uh, I go to work. Uh, I go home. I go home. Uh, I go to church, school, work. I go home. Okay. Son esas cuatro que no utilizamos el da. De allí todas las demás sí tenemos que usar el da. Por ejemplo, si usted dice voy a la playa, I go to the beach. Ahí tiene que poner el da. O si dice voy al parque, I go to the park. Usted dice voy al super, I go to the grocery, grocery store. Voy al banco, I go the bank. Uh, voy al gym. I go to the gym. Voy a la disco. I go to the club. Right, etc. So, todos los lugares, usted va a usar el the, eh, menos church, school, work, y home. Esos no es necesario. Son los únicos que no tiene que usar el da. Ok, let's continue. Any questions? Any questions? No, teacher. No. Ok, ok. Let's go ahead and uh, move forward. We're going to be looking at the next section, which is coming from section number 3.8. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask for and give directions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán cómo pedir y dar direcciones. Además, practicará una conversación la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un escenario de la vida real. Conversation is, is part 
from here? Is it far from here? Está lejos de aquí. Listen and repeat. Is it far from here? Is it far Is from it here? Far from here? Is it far from here? Is it far from here? Right, ahí está diciendo, está lejos de aquí. Listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask for and give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Is it far from here? Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going to practice giving directions now. Let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. So let me summarize the vocabulary we must learn. Four questions. How do I get to? And we mention a place. Or how can I get to? Then we mention a place. Four answers. Walk up. Go up. Walk down go down, turn left on, turn right on, on the right, on the left. Make sure you memorize this vocabulary as it will be essential to ask for and give directions. Now let's try to analyze the expressions walk up or go up. The first thing we want to do when giving directions is to have a departing point. Where are you located and where do you want to go? Let's say that we are at the Empire State Building and we have a question like the example shows. How do I get to Rockefeller Center or how can I get to Rockefeller Center? The first instruction would be walk up Fifth Avenue or go up Fifth Avenue. Now let's pretend that we are at 42nd Street and Madison Avenue and we want to get to St. Patrick's Cathedral. The question would be how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral or how can I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? The first instruction would be walk up Madison Avenue or go up Madison Avenue. Now let's pretend we are at St. Patrick's Cathedral and we want to get to New York Public Library. The question would be how do I get to New York Public Library or how can I get to New York Public Library? The first instruction would be walk down Fifth Avenue or go down 5th Avenue. So what is the next step to get to New York Public Library? For that we will use the vocabulary turn right on or turn left on depending on where our destination is. So to answer that question we will say turn right on 42nd Street. So what is the last step after turning right on 42nd Street? For that we will use the vocabulary on the right or on the left. So in this case 
it's on the left. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give directions using this map. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to practice this conversation. Listen and repeat. Excuse me, ma'am, can you help me? Excuse me, ma'am, ma can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up Fifth Avenue to Fifth Street. Just walk, walk up Fifth Avenue to Fifth Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from the Rockefeller Center. Yes, yes. yes. it's right across the Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Thank you. Is it far from here? Is it, is it far, far, from, far, from, here? far from, here? from here? Is it far from here? Is it, is it far, from far, from here? far from here? It's right behind you. It's, it's right, right, right behind, behind you. you. Thank you. Just turn around and look up. Just, Just turn yes, around and look up. Uh, look, look up. Okay, one more time. One more time. Excuse me, ma'am. Can I? Can you help me? Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up Fifth Avenue to Fifth Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes. It's right across from Rockefeller Center. Yes. Yes. It's it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Thank, Thank you. you. Where, is, where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? Is it, is it, 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 is it, it's right behind you. It's, it's right, right, behind right, behind right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Just yes. 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 turn around, around and, and, and look, look up. up. Okay. Uh, at this moment, uh, do you guys have any questions? about the uh, vocabulary or the pronunciation uh, or the meaning of these words in regards to the vocabulary? Eh, Guadalupe, ponga su micrófono en silencio. Por favor. Eh, Guadalupe, Guadalupe, please uh, put your microphone on silence. Thank you. Eh, no questions? Okay, I would like for you to work with a partner and we're going to take turns and we are going to practice this conversation in pair. And then we will practice the conversation as a group. Are you ready? You will have three minutes. 
practice as many times as possible. Ready, let's go. All right, I have uh, Pamela, uh, Crisia, Elena, Thelma, Carlos, Claudia, and Patricia. Can you hear me? Pamela. Uh, yes, teacher. Oh, Claudia, hi. Uh, ¿Por qué no entró a su grupo eh, con el que lo puse? Sí, en mi caso, eh, le doy entrar o cuando me sale también salas de grupo reducido, pero siempre me regresa a esta pantalla. A mí me pasa igual, teacher. Yo lo intenté dos veces y siempre regresa. Ah, ok. ¿Puede ser que el internet de usted esté un poco lento? He notado eso cuando el internet está lento. Eh, porque los demás sí veo que están en grupos. Quiero ver, grupo uno, grupo dos. Okay, ahorita está solo Joana. All right, Joana está con Claudia y Telma. La voy a poner en grupo cuatro. Y vamos a ver, está Sabrina y Guadalupe. Ahí está Pamela y Crisia. Ok, aquí está Carlos David. Ok. Bueno, en el caso de ustedes, pueden trabajar en grupo acá, en la sala principal, mientras los demás están eh, practicando. Ok, teacher. Ok, los quiero escuchar practicando. No los escucho. Eh, eh, yo tengo una duda. Es que me tuve que levantar un momento. O sea, ahorita vamos a practicar la conversación. Correct. Eh, la conversación okay. que les compartí en el WhatsApp es la que está en la 3.9 y esa es la que estamos practicando. Ok. Eh... Um... Con cualquier compañero o compañera acá. Eh, veo que está aquí Crisia, Telma, veo a Carlos, Claudia, Pamela. A todos los veo. Ok, voy a hacer tourist no, yo. No sé si me escuchas. Sí, sí. Hola, Telma. Ok, eh, no se escucha mucha interferencia. No. Ah, ok. Ok, ¿puedo okay. practicar entre nosotros entonces? Sí, sí, ok. Excuse me, ma'am, and can you help me? How do I get St. Patrick Cathedral? Just go up Fifth Avenue to Fifty Street. St. Patrick is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rock, Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire, Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right be, behind you. 
you store around in a locker? Again, hola, eso es lo que teníamos que hacer. Sí, eh, lo hacemos de nuevo. Eh, Ajá, ahora pero cambiamos de... Sí, ok. Ok. Excuse me, Maya, can you heal me? How do you get to Sirius Patrick Cathedral? Just walk up Fifth Avenue to 50th Street, St. Patrick is on the right. Tories, no, perdón. It, is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it is right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. Um, where is the Empire Steel Welding? It is far from here. It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Okay. Eh, allí solo una observación. No decimos it is around here porque allí está confirmando. Sería is it around here. Allí está preguntando. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? All right. Uh, welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Is everybody finished? Are you finished? All right. Let me have Daniela and Laura. Daniela is tourist. Laura is woman. Daniela is tourist. Laura is woman. Action. Okay. okay. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up Fifth Avenue to to fix a string. Uh, Sir Patrick's in is on the rink. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it ring. I goes from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Perdón. Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Behind. 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 Okay. It's right behind you. Hughes tour around. In look up and look up, perfect, good. Okay, uh, guys, ya se fue, ya son las 45. Eh, se me había olvidado tomar la asistencia, so I got to do that right now in this moment. So when I call your name, I want you to say eh, present, please. When I call your name. Please say present. Si ve que su compañero está conectado y no dice present, me avisa, por favor. Thank you. Alba. Present. Excellent. Today is the 31st payday. Eh, Alison. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Andrea. Present teacher. Perfect. Carlos. Carlos. Is absent. Okay. Uh, Claudia Constante. Present teacher. Very good. Claudia Escalante. Present. 
Claudia Escalante is absent. Okay, absent. Uh, Dalila. Present teacher. Thank you, Dalila. Daniela. Present teacher. Good job. Carlos David López Amaya sí está conectado, teacher. Ah, está conectado Carlos David López Amaya. Sí. Vamos a ver, Carlos David López Amaya. Oh, ahí está, Carlos David López Amaya. Hello, Carlos David López Amaya, can you hear me? Hello, hello, Carlos David López Amaya, can you hear me? Are you there? Carlos David, no? Okay. All right. Okay, um, we were with Diana. Diana. Is absent. Uh, Delmi. Present teacher. Thank you, Delmi. Elena. Elena. I'm here, teacher. Awesome. Gabriela. Gabriela. Absent. Gabriela Orellana. Present teacher. All right. Hazer. Hazer. Jefferson. Jefferson. Okay. Joanna. Present. Excellent. Jose. Present teacher. Montes. Good job. Jose Rodriguez. Jose Rodriguez. Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Right. Uh, Kevin. I am Kevin. here, teacher. All right. Crisia. Present teacher. Okay. Laura. Present teacher. Excellent. Miguel. Good evening, teacher. Very good. Ovidio. Present teacher. Excellent. Pamela. Present. All right. Patricia. Present. Excellent. Sabrina. Present. Good job. Guadalupe. Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Thank you. I'm here. Thank you, Guadalupe. Tamar. Present, teacher. Excellent. Thelma. Present teacher. Very good. All right. So we have absent Jocelyn, uh, Jose Rodriguez, Jefferson, Hazer, Gabriela Ramirez. See, sí, I bastante ausentes. Uh, Diana, Claudia Escalante. All right. He's here. Yes. Santos Guadalupe is here. Yeah, sí, le puse presente a Santos Guadalupe. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry. Yeah, yeah it's okay. Pero ya me puso en duda. <laughs> Let me check. Mm -hmm. 
Aquí estoy, teacher. Sí. Es que tengo mala señal y se fristea. Sí, no, sí le puse, le puse presente. El, el compañero Hola. pensó que le había puesto ausente. Pero sí le puse presente. You're okay. Thank Hola. you. Okay. Eh, let's continue. At this moment, do you guys have any questions? Alguna pregunta en este momento? Alguien que tenga alguna pregunta en este momento? O consulta? No, teacher. Okay. We're going to go ahead and I want to hear two participants. Two participants. Eh, vamos a ver. Let me have Jose and Miguel. Jose is going to be tourist. Eh, Miguel is going to be the other person. Great teacher. Yes, uh, Jose is going to be the tourist, el turista, and Miguel is going to be the woman. Oh, okay. okay. Ahí está uh, en WhatsApp. La conversación se lo mandé al grupo del WhatsApp para que lo tenga ahí en el registro. Okay, thank you. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do you uh, get to... Teacher, uh, can... how do you say it's... It's ST? How do you say? ST? <laughs> what is the pronunciation? Let me see. Uh, I get to site. Oh, oh, that would be Saint Patrick. Saint. Saint ah, okay. Patrick's. Okay, thank you. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do yeah. I get to Saint ma Patrick's? Ma'am. 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 Okay. Uh, Saint Patrick's Cathedral. Just walk up Fifth Avenue to Fiftieth Street. Saint Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from the from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Excellent. Yep. Good job, guys. Good job, Miguel. And good job, Jose. Good pronunciation. Uh, let me have... Two more volunteers. Two more volunteers that wants to participate. All right, Kevin and Gabriela. Kevin, you are the tourist. Gabriela, you are the woman. Action. Excuse me, man. Can you help me? How do I get to sit Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk at Fifth Avenue to Fifteen Street. St. Patrick's in this is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? It's it far from here. It's right. Begin, um, begin, you just turn around and look it up. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Behind. 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 Yes. Behind you. Very good. Okay. Uh, thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Gabriela. Let me have two more volunteers. Two more. Carlos David. Usted va a ser el tourist. Another volunteer. Okay, teacher. Okay, Claudia is going to be the woman. 
Eh, ok. Eh, excuse me. Excuse me, man. Uh, can you help me? How do you, how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up Fifth Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Looks like you guys got this vocabulary. At this moment, does anybody have any questions in regards to this conversation? Okay. In the discussion forum, aquí abajo, van a escribir una conversación similar a esta, pero quiero que la modifique. Eh, por ejemplo, en vez de decir St. Patrick's Cathedral, eh, puede decir el catedral. Eh, en vez de decir Walk Up Fifth Avenue, puede decir la Juan Pablo. En vez de decir Rockefeller Center, puede decir Simán Centro. All right, something like that. Y lo va a escribir en el discussion forum. Any questions? Okay. No. okay, we're going to work in pairs. Las personas que no pueden entrar a los chat rooms, quiero que se queden en la, en el grupo principal y que lo haga con las personas que quedan en el grupo principal. Everybody else, let's go. Let's go. All right, quiero ver que trabajen en grupo para armar la conversación. Eh, la sacó de la reunión, Dalila. Ok. Trabaje con Claudia, Carlos y Guadalupe. Ok, teacher. Ok, teacher. Gracias. Carlos, Dalila y Guadalupe, quiero que trabajen en grupo. No los quiero escuchar en silencio. Ok, teacher. <coughs> Este sería siempre con el turista, no sé quién me puede apoyar ahí que sea eh, woman. Eh, pues aquí está Dalila, Claudia y Guadalupe. Eh, hola compañeras, si gustan empiezo y ustedes... Hola, eh, sí, entiendo que tenemos que armar una conversación similar. Sí, sí, solo que cambiando el, eh, la catedral por la dire, eh, las direcciones por las que están acá, se cambia. Okay. Eh, bueno, voy a empezar. Excuse me, my aunt, can you help me? How do I get to eh, tu catedral? Um, just walk walk down Forty uh, Avenue. Uh, okay. Uh, 
Is he near uh, is he near Cathedral Center? All right, guys, it's time to go. It's time to go. So we will continue tomorrow. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, see you Good night. tomorrow. Good night, tomorrow. Good night tomorrow. teacher. Bien rápido se va el tiempo. Ni lo sentí. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. <laughs> oh, no. Ni sentí la hoja. Bye, guys. Sorry. El tiempo vuela cuando te diviertes. Sorry. Bye, guys. Sí, también cuando se tienen buenos teachers, como oh. nuestro teacher aquí. Thank you. <laughs> Su servidor. Sábeme así como el Puda. Oh, English. English. Oh. 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 After <laughs> Les voy a transmitir en su campo de información todo el inglés. Sí. Por osmosis. Por osmosis. <laughs> yeah. Call down, t-shirt. Call down. Yeah. <laughs> ah, pues sí. All right. Good night, guys. I gotta go. I have another class. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good night.